Okay, it's Sunday, December 3rd, and we just posted the Christmas video a couple of hours ago, which I'm really proud of. We worked really hard on it, and yeah, it was a bit of a mad last minute rush, but I think it came out good. And now we are doing a mad last minute rush as well, because we're hosting a dinner here at home, the first meal we're hosting. The cabin was a bit of a mess with leftover twigs on the ground and, you know, just stuff everywhere. We made the place a bit of a mess, and now we have to get it in line where we have guests. We've been cleaning all day and getting everything ready for the dinner, having wood, etc. inside. The wind is really picking up, so I hope it doesn't ruin the evening and that the fireplace holds up without blowing smoke into the house. So far, it's doing much better since we put the wind cap. I'm looking forward to having people here over for our meal. It's been a really long time since we've been able to do something like this, so we're excited. We are gonna cook some, I think, some delicious stuff I'll show you. So Warner's making mini arepas with a lemon cauliflower and roasted curry chickpeas and a tomato yumminess on top. And I'm making miso glazed cabbage. I don't know why I'm saying I am and you are because we're making both. <laughs> I'm making miso glazed cabbage and roasted potatoes. Guests are coming in one hour. So I show the table set up? Yeah. It's a bit tight, but it's cozy and we'll have all the food in the kitchen counter so that we just have to serve ourselves and sit so that there's not dishes everywhere. The food is coming along nicely, so I think it's gonna be a fun evening. It's a bit of a potluck. We're doing the main food and then our guests will bring dessert drinks and perhaps a starter or a snack. I don't know. That will be fun. And then this week as well, we were having friends come and stay if the weather's not terrible. So we'll be preparing the cabin for that. So a lot of hosting suddenly. It feels more like home when you get to host people here. It's the first dry day in a couple of days, like it has been raining non-stop and hopefully today it stays dry the whole day. So I thought it was a perfect moment to just go out and like work in our forest. We have a little area on the corner of our terrain where the entrance is, where we have many trees, but slowly it's getting overgrown by the salsas, the thorn bushes. So I just want to start controlling it a bit so it doesn't get overgrown by the salsas and the trees can flourish. We were told by the neighbors that there are actually some nut trees on our property. We have of hazelnut which we already knew but they mentioned we also have two walnut trees and those two trees we want to protect at all costs because we love walnuts so we definitely want to have some walnut trees on our property so the idea is to just get rid of as many salsas as possible on this area we already did a lot a couple of weeks ago when my mom was here we cleared up many of the trees that had completely been overgrown by the salsas but i'm gonna just continue today and see how far i can get it's a tedious job because the roots need to be pulled out you cannot really cut the salsas up because they will grow back instantly. So we've really learned on our other property that you need to take the salsas with root and all, so they won't come back as quickly. So yeah, it's tedious in the beginning, but later on it will be much better for us to control it. Done for today with the forest. I've done half the part of the sarsas. I'll have to do another part next time, but it will be something for another day. It won't be urgent, so it's not a problem. Hopefully it's not gonna rain too much in the upcoming days because the soil now is super loose and I don't want all the soil to flush away, but hopefully that will be fine. Just had some goats pass. Our property is not properly fenced up, so the goats can enter, which is not really an issue for us because there's not much to eat here except for all the trees, of course. So we'll have to make sure that at a certain point we'll protect the land a bit more if we start to grow more trees here. But for now it's good. I'm gonna make some lunch and then we're up for the next task. So this is a concoction we're making a lot at the moment. It's rice and lentils. I put a little bit of oats in, spices and some salt. And it's absolutely delicious. It's our protein bomb because yeah, since we're vegan, we need a lot of protein out of other foods. And this is a really good method for us to get some protein in. I'll make some burgers. We'll have some fries from the oven. And that's a delicious lunch.
Thank you, baby. This looks nice. We haven't gone into the sauna yet at all. No, we've never seen it from the inside. <laughs> Which is kind of weird. So yeah, we're gonna open it. Hopefully there's not much to do. Just clean it a bit and have it ready for when the snow comes, being able to use it. We can use it already, but we want to use it when the snow comes. <laughs> well, yeah, it's too warm now. Oh, that's a leak. Yeah. yeah, there's a leak. Oh no, that's a shame. Oh, and there as well. And there in the back. There's little eggs of I don't know what. And we thought this was going to be in perfect state. Now you have to get to fixing. There's nails. Oh yeah, yeah, careful. They're next to your head. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, it's definitely not ready for use. We we need to do a lot in here before it can be used. I, I thought it was just going to be taking dust out. Really? Yeah. Knowing how everything has been so far? I know, but I just had hope. I hoped that we would come in, clean it out, and that would be it. We're gonna just clean it out. We'll take out things, clean it out, and then the works will have to take place another day when we have the materials. At least we have a sauna. <laughs> Arne just took the floorboards out and there's so many bugs. It's a whole ecosystem. There's so many spiders and bugs and there's fungus and there's all sorts of things, so we need to properly clean it. looking much better but there's a lot of stuff that still needs to be done the boards have a lot of fungus on them so i have to really scrub them i have to scrub the floor and the benches and all the surfaces the roof needs to be fixed because there are leaks coming through the roof but that's for later but the first thing i want to actually do is clean up everything around the sauna so you can move a bit more easily behind there's a battery storage and there is a wood storage the battery storage is broken i'm gonna take that off and then i just want to yeah just clean it up a bit around i do that now because today is dry and the upcoming days is gonna rain again so when it's raining i can work inside the sauna much better. I need to take a little break. <laughs> now some sauna work. Except for now, it started raining just now. And it was a perfect day to just work on the land. I've been working on cleaning the salsas most of the morning, which is perfect. It's finally getting cleaned up a little bit there. And then I started working on the sauna. I've been cleaning everything up inside, scrubbed all the walls and all the floors, and then the benches as well, so we can actually use it because it was quite moldy. There was a lot of mold growth and fungus growth on the floor. I've turned the fireplace on. It's properly warming up at the moment inside here. It actually feels quite toasty already inside and I'm just gonna let it go for a while so it can dry up everything inside so when I put the boards back in they don't start molding again immediately. Now I'm gonna have some lunch because I'm really hungry and it's already 3.30 and after that I'll be cleaning the boards, put them back in, fix the door because I cannot properly shut it at the moment and then the sauna should be ready. Nice, I'm excited for this. Hello, hello. Are you having fun outside? For me now, Mondays are like the equivalent of the weekend, Monday, Tuesday, because we are working the whole weekend always to get the video out. <laughs> and then like Monday, I'm like, oh, now I get to chill. And you are doing what you like doing, which is tinkering around. By the way, dinner went really well and it was all delicious. People brought different things. It was so good. And now we're eating the leftovers, which doesn't look appealing, but they're delicious. It's really good, huh? Yeah, everything was really good. I really like the, the dishes that people brought. And it was super windy, but our chimney only had smoke coming in twice. I saw it once only. 
the morning there was also but twice in the whole day whereas before it was once a minute so huge improvement putting the chimney cap I'm really happy about that because it started getting really windy and I was really worried like oh no people are coming and they're gonna have to leave halfway through the dinner because this is unbearable but no it was perfect no did the wreath survive no. have you looked it's there yeah. It's just too cold to get out of bed. I made Weiner sit here for lunch because I cannot get out of bed. It's too cold. Half an hour has passed and the weather has changed for the worst. Like it's so windy again and it started raining so it's terrible weather. I just checked the sauna and it's still around 40 degrees inside. It's super humid because it has a lot of moist inside it still needs to dry up. I put a couple of more locks on the fire to just keep it going and just keep it like warm for a, for a while. And in the meantime since I cannot work outside anymore I'm just gonna clean the boards here underneath the porch. It's a nice space to work in so. Ports are done and the weather is a tiny bit better, but it's not good enough to fix the door. The doors are quite wet at the moment and I probably need to sand them a little bit to get them properly closed. I'll do it another time. I'm just gonna decouple the solar panel system and the battery, check inside if it works and then fix it. I think that was the end of the day. I'm gonna go in soon and just snuggle in front of the fire. It's quite cold outside, so it's worth going inside and close the day out. See you tomorrow. Good morning. The sun is out, which is nice. To be honest, I've been struggling a bit lately and the cold doesn't really help me want to get out of bed. <laughs> so after a couple of days of allowing myself to rest and just feel sorry for myself, decided to get up today. I'm gonna go on a nice walk. I think it will be good for me to get some movement in and enjoy the sun a little bit. And then after we have to prepare the house because we have friends coming tomorrow to stay for one night. So we have to prepare the guest bedroom a little bit. So that's my plan for the day go on a little walk and prepare the house and try not freeze <laughs> it's so cold it's so cold it's so cold as you saw me when i was getting ready i tie a hot water bottle around my waist because it's one of the only ways i can cope moving around and not being in bed under all the blankets so if you ever see a big weird bulk on me that's how i manage i think there's some people that do good with cold and i'm not one of them i need to feel warm in order to want to move or do anything and here it's not warm enough so i am struggling a bit with that like i don't mind if i could just lay in bed all day and just watch stuff and be chill but of course that's not something i can do all the time so then yeah i struggle a bit with having motivation to do stuff when it's chilly but at least the sun is out and that makes me feel much better so let's go on a little walk oh let's go the cows here have struggled lately this summer they've they've had a disease going around and many of them have been very sick i don't know you'll hear me but it's windy but you can tell oh. it's really heartbreaking my neighbor's dogs just came to see me they're leaving again it's so nice to have doggies recognize you and get excited. I've walked to a little hill nearby our place, which is funny because it's the first spot we came to look at cabins here, Dubai, over a year ago. This is the spot I fell in love with the area. The place was not right, it's here at the top of the hill. There were five different cabins, but all quite separate from each other. And they also have neighbors right next to them. So it's not what we were looking for. But I remember looking at this view that is behind me. Which is now the view from our place. I'm thinking this place is so magical. And it's funny that we ended up living in a place five minutes from here with practically the same view. It's interesting how things end up working out. The reason we didn't pursue this one as well was because the agent was very strange and we just felt like he was lying to us a lot. And it was quite pricey. It was quite overpriced, to be honest. But yeah, this is the first spot we visited ever here in the area. I'll show you the views in the place. The gorgeous views. Then this is the road up. Our cabin is over this hill, the other side. And there was one, two cabanas down there behind this green. So more 
in the shade and right next to the road. Then those are the guest houses and renovated homes that were already here that we were not convinced about having right as neighbors. And then there was this cabin and one a bit more up that was part of the bundle. And I loved this cabin. I thought it was gorgeous. But I was also a bit bummed about the road passing right next to it because it continues on to more cabins up there that even though they were not renovated at the time, they could be sold or owned by someone else and renovated in the future. This is why we didn't get it. Now that I know the area a bit more, I think this is a bit too high and a bit too exposed to the wind. So I'm glad we didn't end up here. But it is a pretty spot. I wonder if they're still for sale. Not too long ago, I did see them still up. So they hadn't managed to sell and they had divided them up instead of being five at once. They were sold separately. You have to really love this spot because you are surrounded by other people and it's very exposed. So. It's not the best offer in the area, but the views are so good. And it's true that this valley is stunning, but a lot of places don't have really beautiful views. I think our cabin has one of the nicest views. This spot obviously has really nice views. And then the place we wanted to buy that we called the dream spot also had really stunning views. But then there are many that are not set up with views in mind because that's not the purpose of this <laughs> cabins. Originally they were to keep cattle and they they obviously build them where they would be best off the wind and you know to try minimize the cold etc so they're sometimes situated in spots that are not the most logical for modern day wants like nowadays people obviously want to come here to enjoy the amazing surroundings but for the locals back then that was not really the purpose it's not that easy to find a cabin that is in a stunning stunning spot even though the whole area is very pretty so cold my hand is so cold my body is fine luckily the hot water bottle is a wonder but my hand holding out the phone really cold and my nose as you can see is very red <laughs> it is being a short walk because i'm already turning around and walking back it was good i think this next year for sure i'm gonna put as one of my goals to start exercising regularly again because i need it it's hard with the chronic fatigue i have to exercise because then i feel even more tired afterwards and i feel like I cannot do anything with my day but I have to prioritize that and perhaps not have energy to do other things until I get better and get more fit because I, I think it will benefit me a lot. I am working with my doctor to try tackle this fatigue that I have. I'm trying really hard. I'm trying everything that there is out there because I started having this horrible, horrible fatigue with my burnout. It was terrible back then and that's when I stopped exercising fully because I just couldn't even get out of bed on the weekends. It was too much for me. And then I've tried to pick up doing, you know, healthy movement more often since then. But I very quickly give up because of how tired I feel. But I think this next year I'm just going to focus on that. And if getting up and doing some exercise means that the rest of the day I can't do anything else, it will have to do for a while because I need to get fitter. I, f I feel really, like I feel like I'm getting old. My body is getting old. Old. I don't know where that rat came from, but that's the reality. Little walks here and there shouldn't fatigue me too much. Although it's not really a logical thing. I get much more tired than I should with very silly things. Okay, I'll stop blabbing. Warner hates when I talk so much because he doesn't know how to cut it because he doesn't think anything that's discussed is interesting. And I, on the other hand, I watch a lot of vlogs. I like people just chatting about whatever is in their mind. So I tend to do that. <laughs> I'm back and sitting on the porch with the sun out and not there not being too much wind. It's actually getting nice and warm. So I could take my coat off and I'm just chilling, getting some vitamin D. Had a nice chat with one of the local neighbors, finding out all the gossip of which houses are for sale and who lives where. <laughs> They love gossiping here. For me, it's good. I get to learn more about who lives where and why and what they do. Oh, so nice. Now it's time to prepare the bedroom. The first thing we have to do is make it a bit more cozy because it's really cold in this guest bedroom. And it's because there's a couple of holes in the wall, which we didn't notice until recently, which let the cold wind from outside come in. We're going to cover them now. It's coming from here. There's wind coming from there? Oh, and it's so much. No wonder it's so cold. How are we going to do this? I don't know. Oh, it's so cold. 
This is like yeah. floating. So there's all this cracks here. This is all wind. And then we just discovered this is all wind as well. This room is a mess. We're just doing a temporary solution. Of course, not the best thing, but in the future we need to figure this out. You feel a breeze inside, <laughs> which is just silly. Oh, they're gonna freeze here. I need to I need to send them a message as a warning. Maybe we need to sleep here. Oh uh, yeah, maybe we do. And then we're also going to hang up the curtain rod in here so that they can our friends can put a blanket over the window and not get so much cold through there. And then we're gonna change the bed situation because they wanna sleep in one bedroom with their toddlers. Now we have two single beds in here. We need to bring the double bed from downstairs and take one of the single beds out. Nothing is easy here. We thought we just had to bring up the bed and then we realized it's all filled with mold behind this plastic panels. Some are really bad. So we have to take all this out and then clean it so that there's no mold. It's exhausting. Everything you have to do here is exhausting. Why is everything so difficult? I thought we were just bringing up a bed. It will be very snug. It will all be just bed from wall to wall, but that way the whole family can sleep together. That's it. We just have to clear the room of stuff so that they have space in the wardrobe and, and they're gonna have to bring their own blankets because we don't have enough. I feel really bad about being such a bad host, but we just, the house is not ready yet. And I warned them. I said like, oh, you're more than welcome to come, but we haven't managed to get everything we need. If you come, you have to bring your own towels and your own bed sheets. <laughs> <laughs> and they were happy to do that. I can't wait for next year when we have the house really nice and people can come stay and actually feel comfortable here. Okay, a million years later, but the bed is up here and the bedroom is kind of ready. Tomorrow we just need to put some curtains up. <laughs> That's it, we don't have more. Hello, hello. So we were supposed to have our friends here by now, but last night the weather turned, started to be really, really windy. And today we've woken up to a very gray day, very moody. <laughs> and the prediction was that we were gonna have a lot of wind today and tomorrow and also rain. So we've decided to cancel because there's no point in them coming and then being cooped up inside the house with their little kid. Also because the house is not that cozy right now, as in warm. <laughs> so it would just not be a nice experience. So instead, we've changed plans this morning. We went to run some errands. We didn't bring you along because, you know, cannot show you the same thing over and over. And now we are going to turn on the sauna and use it for the first time to get warm and cozy. I'm actually really looking forward to it. And then we'll also make some dinner. We had thought of making burgers, like lentil burgers tonight. So Warner's gonna go ahead and make that. And then we'll probably also make some chocolate chip cookies. Maybe watch a movie, get cozy. And that's about it. Hola guapo, que pasa? Quieres algo comida? Si? Uy, you're so wet, come on. Come on, let's get some food. It's so cold. So let's go enjoy the sauna. I'm actually looking forward to, to being warm. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm regretting this decision already. I think I am. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna take the thumbnail photo in the cold. I'm gonna record it because I think it's gonna be funny for you to see how this actually happens. And then hopefully by then, by the time we're finished with the thumbnail, the sauna will be warm enough to go in and feel like it's a reward. And then we're running into the house and taking a hot shower. And I'm getting into bed. <laughs> I think that's the plan. Ooh, why is it so cold? Ready? Oh, I'm getting off dressed off camera. <laughs> Oh, Duke. oh god, it's cold! Oh, oh, I'm never gonna dislike taking a thumbnail more than now. Oh, oh. oh choo -choo. My toes are going numb, so this better be worth it. Okay, let's go with this one. Oh. Say hello to the camera. Go! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope the phone survives. Oh, we're inside. It's supposed to be dry, but it's so humid inside here, outside, that everything is really Oh, it's really smoky. I have a hard time breathing here. Apart from that, it's lovely. The heat is amazing.
Oh, this is so good. I needed to cool off a bit because, oh, it's uh, pretty hot inside there. And this is just nice, like standing like this outside, having a view. You can see the sea up there, you can see the mountains up there. It's just amazing. So nice to be properly warm for the first time in so long. I'm gonna take a bit of a break. We're both soaking of sweat. But it's so nice, huh? It's so nice now to be out as well. Just feel the cold air. It's raining. I don't care. It's a good life. We're gonna enjoy another 10 minutes in the sauna. 15. 15 and then we're out. I won't take you back inside. I don't want to ruin the phone. In the end, it was a good idea, I think. Oh, it's it was a good idea. So okay, we're back inside. Come. It was great. Oh, it was so good. I'm so happy we did that. We're gonna do that. Warner hasn't wet his hair. That's just sweat. <laughs> That was a success. Yeah, it was I really sweet. loved it. We're gonna do this much more often. Now we're gonna shower, warm shower, and cozy up. Cozy up and finish yeah. the video. Make sure that the fire is going. Listen to our audiobooks. It's a nice, nice day. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Warner cooking up a storm. You made burgers, fries, oven, potato chips, whatever, and lots of cookies. Oh my god, this is awesome. This looks really good. I'm so excited. We're also just gonna watch a movie, right? Yeah. You chose one? Yeah. What's it called? Why are you choosing a movie is like a Christmas miracle. <laughs> you always doubt for so long. What did you choose? Oh, comedy. What's it called? I can't remember. Let's see if it's good. If it's any good. Save the last dance. So yeah, we're gonna eat watch a movie, sit before the fire and go to bed. I'm so tired. Yeah, the sauna, exhausting. It was really good. Like, feel like a new person a little bit, but a very tired new person. Gonna love you and leave you for the evening. Maybe for the video. Maybe see you tomorrow. Maybe not. <laughs>